Uh, there is a great question by Rich, and I'm going to get to that in a second. Um, I think this question is from Marcelo. Can Terry uh, please discuss the advantages and disadvantages of high elbow catch? Hmm. Yes, high elbow catch. Um, we. It's it's a lot easier to learn um, to relax your hand than to lift your elbow for the catch. Um, the, the the term high elbow catch, which in in mainstream or uh, technical swimming circles is called the early vertical forearm. Um, it, it refers to observations made of elite swimmers that they have this ability when the hand goes into the water to have the arm immediately in an extreme, uh, a fairly extreme position with the elbow very high and, and the forearm nearly vertical almost as soon as the hand enters. Um, average people can't do that. Um, I've, I've, been, I've coached easily a thousand different competitive swimmers in 40 years um, and uh, some for longer term and some for shorter term but I, I have I have coached quite a few quite a few swimmers and I, I could practically probably count on, on, the, on two hands the number who were able to do that um, so it's a rare it's a rare ability to to have a very high elbow in that position what anyone can do is relax the hand so that the fingers are down and the palm faces back. So we always we always get people to try to right from the first drill. As a matter of fact, we practice relaxing, hanging the hand in in Superman glide, and then much later when we start to focus on propulsion, then the hand is in position so that when you apply pressure, the resultant force is forward. And so what should be happening with the elbow of that arm? Well, the, well the elbow, hanging. yeah, the elbow should be above the wrist. All right, that's good for balance. That's the first reason you you do. So if you want to call that a high elbow, you can. Uh, mm -hmm. We call it a down <laughs> down sloped forearm, which is easier to achieve because it's a relaxing motion, right? If if you have high elbow, you're going to think I have to lift the elbow. Mm -hmm. um, and if you think hang the hand, then you think oh, I'm just going to let gravity draw my hand and forearm down. And so I'll always opt for the uh, for the for the movement that uh, where I can get a natural force to do the work instead of a muscular uh -huh. force. <laughs> so let let gravity do some of the work first, and let then gravity you can apply do the, do the work force first. Later. Yeah, I mean there is a place in your swimming later, mm -hmm. much later in your development where when your body is really stable, when your recovery is is perfect so it's not destabilizing the body, uh, where you can start thinking not about holding the elbow high but uh, but more about rotating the upper arm uh, so the elbow is pointed slightly out, a little more up. It's, we're talking about pretty small changes overall. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I coach people to do this, I, I don't see big dramatic changes in their arm position, uh, but they feel a change. Mainly what they're trying to do is is have not just the hand, but the forearm as well be part of the surface with which you're trapping water. Mm -hmm. Okay, great.